Hey everyone, how's it going? So, I'm back with my second attempt at a let's play of Project Zomboid. So Project Zomboid basically starts you off um, in a house with you and your wife, who have both, oh, well, she's been greatly injured by our recent encounter with some zombies. And she's bleeding quite badly. Now the objective of this game is not to escape the quarantine zone, it's not to create some sort of cure. You're two normal people. You can't do anything. You're completely blocked off from the rest of the world. All you can do is survive for as long as you can. So, as I mentioned, our wife Kate has been greatly injured. And we're actually going to have to help her out. So we're going to need to bandage her legs and hopefully find some of our painkillers. Alright. So we managed to find a pillow and a sheet and some painkillers. So we can actually use this sheet here to make some wound dressing, which will be uh, handy for both Kate and uh, and me if I'm injured by any zombies when I'm out, ex out scavenging for more food. So I'll just give us some painkillers too. So as you can see, the world around us is pretty much gone to hell. Our wife is really, really concerned. But for the time being, she's okay. And that's, uh, that's good enough for me at the moment. So out in the yard, just over the top left, uh, there's actually shit there that we can see. And hopefully we'll be able to find just some uh, just some planks of wood to help barricade the doors and block the windows. So we will close the door behind us. And that's just because if any unwanted visitors do end up getting inside, we do not want them going going straight for Kate. But not wish it upon anyone, let alone my wife, so. Now it's starting to get late. I want to be back inside and hopefully hold up by at least six o'clock. So we got the hammer, some nails, and some wooden planks. So and we're just going to secure the safe house now by barricading the windows and the doors. So we barricade the doors just so zombies can't easily get in. And we barricade the windows so they can't actually see us. If I'm on the second story of this house, I can look out and I will be safe to look out because it actually makes it really hard for the zombies to spot me. However, when I'm on that eye level, like this, it's uh, actually really dangerous, as they can see inside. Just looking out into the footpath at the moment, and we seem to be safe. And it looks like we will be able to sleep quite soundly tonight. Unfortunately though, we only have three planks of wood left. So we're safe now. And kind of rejoice a little bit with my wife. So she has a little bit of a morbid sense of humor, but you know, you can't expect much else in times like these. That's exactly right though, I do need to find supplies. At the moment I haven't eaten in a day, I'm not quite hungry yet, but I will become morning. And Kate's right though, it is dark and I won't really be able to see. So the best idea at the moment is just, just to sleep and wait till morning. Alright, so now we're hungry. And we're going to have to go get food. And Kate has even more sense of humor today. She's still bleeding badly though. So she just wants me to be careful and I don't blame her. She can't move at the moment. So the worst kind of fate she could have is me not coming back. So we should be safe. Just scouting around. Just Quickly. 
There's no zombies that I can see in my line of sight. Alright. So we can't quite see inside the window. Hopefully that will be a feature they do implement though. I'm going to go inside and I'm going to close the door behind me. Because I do not want any unwanted visitors following me in through the way I came. Now I can hear a zombie. Alright. Okay, there he is. Slightly panicked, but... We managed to take him out without actually taking any damage. Which is good, because a scratch is pretty much a death sentence. It's it's not 100% de um, definite. However, if we do get bitten, there's no coming back from that. So we managed to find some perishables in the fridge. And we will just want to eat these now. We do not want to carry around food that can go off. We just want to eat that as we find it. Alright, so before we go back out the front door, I'm just going to check just through this window here that it is safe and there is no zombies outside so it is safe to go out so if I just look around quickly before I enter the house there is no zombies in my line of sight so I should be safe to make it back hopefully get some food cooked so remember once again to close the door behind us now I don't plan on staying here for much longer, so I'm not going to barricade this door again. Especially with the limited amount of planks I get, because we do not get them back. So yeah, we got soup. And if we actually look in these benches here, we find a cooking pot and also a can opener. Now I thought I got more soup than that when I was in that house. I could have sworn I got at least three cans, but okay. I'm just going to have to make do with what we've got. It's getting a little bit late, and I really don't want to take the risk of having to go back out there unless I have to. So, we've got some soup cooked, and our wife has just picked up a signal on the radio. So it's day six since the outbreak, and there's army camps surrounding Knox County. Uh, which is the uh, town that we're in at the moment. Now we don't want to leave this pot of soup on for too long as it will actually set the house on fire. And when it sets the house on fire, uh, as most normal houses will have, the house has fire alarms included and it does make a lot of noise and we will attract a horde. It's not looking good. There's no, there's no clue as to what this outbreak is. So it looks like we're going to be stuck here. The uh, the government isn't coming for us. The government isn't helping us. We're just completely blacked out. So I'm just going to eat that pot of soup. Okay, someone someone just opened up the front door. Or something. As cruel as this might be, I actually might have to use my wife as bait here. But at least this way, we're both not going to die. And I should be able to save her. So I'm just going to sneak up behind this guy by holding down control. And I'm going to take him out. No way am I going to let that guy do that for any longer. And I need him to. It's my wife. So we kind of share a moment there. Because that was a close call. He had a shotgun. So she's not happy with me about that, but sometimes things like that have to be done. 
Alright, so she's still bleeding badly. So it doesn't it, it looks like there might not be too much hope left for Kate. So I really don't want to go back outside this close to our uh, six o'clock. I don't think the game actually goes dark at six, it's just it's just a little personal clock that I like to have. I like to get back inside by six because that gives me time to cook any food and to barricade any windows. Unfortunately, I woke up at 1. And Katie's still bleeding badly. However, she's asleep at the moment. And I am actually going to have to leave this house, and I'm not going to be able to take her with me. I can use this pillow I found earlier. I think I might be able to smother her. That was actually sad. That's gonna take its toll on me, actually. Because now not only am I completely alone, I have to carry the burden of just killing my wife. At the moment, there's nowhere for me to sleep. And there's nothing for me to eat. And it's still 2 a.m. in the morning. So I'm just going to speed up the time a little bit. So about 10 is good for me, that a little bit longer than I was hoping. Before I go out... Just a baseball bat with some spikes in it. Just to help with the uh, zombies, because even though we have a shotgun, we do not want to use it. It will draw a lot of unwanted attention. No, actually, upon killing Kate, I actually now carry around a picture of her. Just as a reminder. Just sad, but... True. It had to be done. So I'm just going to unbarricade this window and look out. And at the moment we seem pretty safe. I'm going to leave this house now and I do not think I'm going to be coming back to it. Not after what I just done. Okay, so I have been spotted by some zombies. By a lot of zombies, actually. So I just took two out. Okay, wow, I was actually going to go to that house with the hopes of actually being able to scavenge some food. It does not look like that's going to be happening now. I'm drowsy, I'm hungry, and I'm panicking. But because I'm walking, I'm not drawing too much attention to myself. Okay, okay, those zombies know I'm there now. Okay, I'm gonna have to run. Okay, god. My guy is panicked. I take out as many as I can on the way. And I'm extremely drowsy. Oh 
However, that didn't end as badly as it could have. I'm reluctant to stay here, but I may have to go inside just to get some food. Okay, I don't think there's any food in here. I can't hear zombies anymore though. So I've got some whiskey. Uh, a battery. We don't want another shotgun. But no food. This is not going to be good enough for me to stay in tonight. Okay, we're going to have to hole up here for the night. But now they know I'm here. Okay, this is not good, this is not good. I'm not even going to be able to stay here now. If I'm going to die, I'm going to go out with a bang. Uh, I don't even think I can make a Molotov. I don't have any fuel. I do, however, have a shotgun. Sounds like they just took a chunk out of me. This is not good. It's now night time and I'm about to pass out. I'm hungry, I can't find any food. I'm doing my best here. And now I'm now I've been injured. Okay, I probably shouldn't have made that last shot. That was not a bad call. That was a bad call. Alright, I think I found the apartment block. But, because it's night time, I have reduced vision. And it's locked. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I need somewhere to go. Okay, you gotta be kidding me. Well, that was my second attempt at a Let's Play, and I don't think it was much better. Oh, uh, it was a little bit longer, but I know. I think I might just need to play it a little bit more. I seem to be having trouble finding a safe, secure place to board up. If you like this video, uh, feel free to comment, like, subscribe. Uh, enjoy.